This case study focuses on pheromone therapy. So specifically we've been involved in developing and validating the efficacy of treatments for urine spraying in cats for example and the innovation of going from using a spray to try and treat the problem to actually using a plug-in device like this and we were the first to actually validate this method. More broadly we've been developing new applications for example in dogs to reduce stress of dogs going into waiting rooms within veterinary practices, treating noise fears and um, helping puppies settle into a new home. Daniel Mills, Professor of Veterinary Behavioural Medicine. The development of pheromone therapy has really given vets across the world much more confidence in managing behaviour problems, simply because there's good evidence for the way that these work and they're very simple. So the innovations like the diffuser have been really important in getting client compliance and them seeing uh, real success. There's enormous public awareness, there's strong uh, public satisfaction. We did a, a review of social media quite recently. In 21 days, there were over 2,000 mentions of uh, Fellaway, and sort of 86% or so of them were actually in a positive light. So it's clearly had a big impact on the public. If you look at the data, sort of 2009, over 20% of cats in France, owners reported they had spraying problems. Now that figure has dropped down to 13, probably because they're just instantly treating it without having to confer with their vets. The academic impact is perhaps well summarised in this uh, little text here, which we worked with the company to produce. And it's basically a collection of all the published papers. And if you look at those that, um, that have been published in peer-reviewed journals, more have come from the Lincoln Group than any other group um, in the world. And not just that, but also we've often been the first to explore a particular application and others have then followed on from that. So I think one of the big Im academic impacts of our research has been to encourage other people to take a scientific interest in this, to not only verify and validate our findings, but also to explore new applications.